Woodward rolled to the state championship, but it wasn't easy, and they need more than regulation time. Hillary Hurst finished with another 30-plus point performance, but it was Woodward's defense that turned in the MVP performance. For over 10 minutes, including the entire fourth quarter and early in the overtime period, Woodward shut Claremore out. They say that defense wins championships, and that could not be more accurate than it is right here. Head coach Kinsey Didier talks about the fourth quarter. We just need up, and we told them every rebound's got to be ours. Active hands, active feet. We knew the players that we had to keep away from the ball. I think for the most part we did that. We made them rush a couple of shots, and then the rest is history. Didier had a great high school career as a player, but this was her first state championship as a coach. Needless to say, winning it all was emotional for the Woodward head coach. I'm just, I'm happy to finally hold my son. It's his third birthday today, and I haven't seen him all day. So I'm, I'm glad I get to see him now, and it's just, it's surreal. You know, these kids, we never talked about this game until last night. And then to only talk about it one night and then get it the next night is pretty special. Hurst was the 5A tournament most valuable player after a phenomenal three-day stretch in Tulsa. Woodward is a long way away from T-Town, and Hurst talks about the fan support from her hometown. You can hear them. They're still going. It's been a long season, and they've been there since the day we were 6-20. and 20. Now they're here from the days we're 23-5. and five. And so, I mean, that's, what, like, that's what's just drove us here. They're our driving force. They would get under us every single game. Of course they were going to come out and make a big show. And I'm just so happy to have that kind of support. Hurst scored 95 points over the three days in Tulsa during the state tournament, and her head coach talks about the 5A tournament most valuable player. She's the best one I've ever coached. She never dies. She had a rough first half. She believed in what we did. She began to believe in herself again, and then she brought the victory home for us. This is Michael Nye reporting from the Maybe Center in Tulsa, Oklahoma, for OKPreps.com.